and good morning. It's late. It's almost 10 o'clock. And just had the worst sleep I've had in probably like two or three years. Last night, I could not fall asleep to start. I couldn't fall asleep. I kept hearing noises outside and like I thought I heard something in the kitchen and I just, my mind was so unsettled. And then when I did finally fall asleep, I woke up bawling my eyes out because I had a nightmare. And in my dream, I had witnessed a crime and the people saw me and they came and grabbed me and were like, we don't know what we're going to do with you. And in my dream, I knew they were going to kill me. Like, I just knew there's no way they're going to let me go. I saw this crime. So I was standing around like we were outside at nighttime and I was standing like looking around being like where can I escape and I remember like walking around this like cement pillar and like being like okay maybe I can run there maybe I can run there and then and then like weirdly everything changed and I was outside during the day and I was at a beach but I knew that they were still trying to figure out what they were going to do with me. And this guy came up to me that was part of the group and he was like, come with me right now. And I literally got down on my knees and I started crying. I said, please, please, like, please don't kill me. I was just crying. Said, please don't. And he's like, get up, like, let's go. And he takes me over to this area and there's like a bunch of kids and like adults that are having like a barbecue and like everyone's eating and having a good time. And he's like, come, you're going to you're gonna hang out with my me and my family he's like i'm not gonna do anything to you and i started crying like i was like oh my god like imagine in my dream i i thought i was gonna die like i thought someone was gonna hack me up and murder me and i just remember this so vividly just crying and crying and crying and i woke up with tears rolling down my face i was in the fetal position crying okay and i got up and i was like you've got to be kidding me right now <laughs> i got up i went to the washroom and i just like laid in bed and i was like i can't fall back asleep i can't it had to have been like 5 30 or 5 in the morning and i just kept trying to fall back asleep i couldn't fall back asleep i heard the neighbor who gets up to go for work i i think at like 6 a.m or 6 30 um I heard him start his truck and then I thought, fuck, there's no way I'm going back to sleep now because now all the cars are starting to drive on the main road. I can hear, it's just getting louder. Everyone's going to work. Like, I'm not gonna fall back asleep. And I did it. And then Mike got up, he went downstairs. And I was like, I'm not getting up now. Like, um, I've been up for like two or three hours. I don't even know. Like. I'm just so tired. I need to just lay down in bed by myself. Like, and he got up, he went down stairs and then I laid in the middle of the bed. <laughs> just shifted my pillow into the middle of the bed, sprawled out like a star and passed back out probably for an hour in the bed. But like, I'm still so tired. I don't even want to get out of bed. Like this sucks so much. I just had such a horrible sleep and my mind is so unsettled. So unsettled right now. Oh, I just feel like shit. But I'm gonna get up now and go downstairs and have some sort of normalcy in my morning. I'm gonna eat, have a coffee, see the dog. I might come back upstairs and have another nap. I'm, I'm so exhausted, I can't even. Whoa, 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 whoa! Oh my goodness! Baby! Oh my goodness! 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 Oh my goodness!
Yay! Oh no, she's down with you. What she's about your there. mom? What the Her heck? food's been there all day, like even when I got down. She just all of a sudden got hungry. What the hell are you doing? Why? She got comfortable. Oh, she's tired. <laughs> what, are you tired from doing the zoomies outside? We just seen her run past the window so quick, I seen it in the corner of my eye. She's all out of breath now. Yeah, she's in the shade. She doesn't want to be in the sun because it's that couple extra degrees. <sighs> you know when you just literally don't want to talk to you or see anybody? That's the mood I'm in right now. I'm wearing the same sweater I've been wearing for the last two days. I am exhausted. I am very annoyed with this whole situation with the car. I literally don't want to speak to or see anyone. Like, I just want to be alone all day. I'd like to just lay in bed all day, but I won't. I won't because I know that that's not any good for anybody. We're trying to figure out a rental car situation because we're not going to get our vehicle until at least, you know, this time next week, they're basically telling us. So it's like, well, what are we supposed to do? Like, just not have a car for a week? Like, our car is <clears throat> under a, not a recall, they call it like a special program or something because their transmission is faulty. So everything might be covered. I mean, obviously the transmission is by far the worst thing that could happen to your car is to have your transmission be shot. So if it's covered, then we're good. But if it's not covered, then we have to make some decisions. Although I, we got a letter from GM in literally February of 2020 and might just still happen to have it, thank God. It basically said like, you know, this is what's going on. Like, here's your, this is your VIN number. Your car is part of this program, blah, 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 blah. So lo and behold, now all the things that are listed in that letter are exactly what happened with our vehicle. So I, I'm pretty confident that it's going to be covered. I just like don't want to have to deal with the hassle of this rental car because the dealership is kind of being, an, it seems a bit shady to me, but I'm assuming they don't want to give nothing for free. So I, I just, I don't know. I'm just, I'm, I'm just annoyed, frustrated with the whole thing. Obviously didn't sleep last night. I'm moody, I'm tired. I'm looking at my list of things to do today. And I just gave myself just some simple things. I'm gonna add it some more vlogs, um, play around with Premiere Pro a little bit more and watch some YouTube videos and not like entertaining videos either. I'm doing some research, so I'm gonna just turn my brain off a little bit and take some notes. I don't watch a lot of stuff that's entertaining, to be honest. That's entertaining, that's not true. Like, these fictional shows are not really my jam. I watch documentaries, I watch <laughs> business videos <laughs> on YouTube, tutorials on how to do stuff with Adobe. Like that is literally the stuff I watch. I'm boring, but I'm trying to learn. I will have, I had many years of just watching nonsense to fill an empty void of not having to deal with my problems. So I'm, I'm past that now. That's my day today. Just a big mess. I'm not having a good day today. Uh, Looks like the kind of mustache I could just go like this and just, <laughs> just peel it off, <laughs> like uh, uh, a costume mustache. Yeah, well, we might get a car rental. Waiting for them to call us back to see if it's covered. Just feeling so overwhelmed and annoyed. I'm just not feeling it today. So we're gonna hang out and watch something. I don't know if that's it. Oh, the snuggles. The snuggle session is real. Welcome to my life. What are you picking? Something on Netflix? Oh, W5. It's not a call anyone wants to make. That moment. So 
I'll go grocery shopping now, get some stuff from La Coco's. So we got cabbage, bananas, beets, garlic, kale, bok choy, some more kale, all the good stuff, big bag of potatoes. looking at what are you looking at honey There's one. oh some ice cream for ted maybe some ice cream bars for ted ted really likes his ice cream chocolate and salted caramel these are my favorite sausages from So we got to pick up a rental car, 40 bucks a day, great steal. 2019 Impala, it actually drives really nice. Um, while we wait for this vehicle because who knows what kind of good news, bad news we're gonna get on Monday. Me? Yeah. Well, this is the new car. Pretty and I think he would literally be, and I'd say if you don't see the one that you like, they they have a booklet. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. And like you can get whatever one it is that you that you want, but you know it's it's here. It's not heated seats, right? I don't it's think not. the seats are heated. What? It's a charge station, so you can hide your phone. Ah, smart. Smart. Oh, this is it. Look at that long. Oh, what are you doing? What the frick are you doing? Ah, quick, 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 quick. Whoa, 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 whoa. Thomas, come on. Let's go inside. You don't want to come? Come here. Come here. Yay. Whoa. Whoa. Ah! She's got snow in her mouth. Yeah. Whoa. Little pig. Yeah, hey, little piggy. She just flops right over. Oh, a drum monkey. Drum monkey. My Jamaican side came out Yummy. when I met Keely. Run, monkey. Okay. Hello. Now, are you having all of that, or? We'll see. It's all what the what what it says. What's the all depends on what, what the measurement is. Okay. Well, just all... maybe like. Because I am cooking dinner. Okay. Oh. Or you're weighing everything. I am cooking dinner later, I think. Uh, la, 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 la. Uh. One. Two. Three. Well, there's bones in them too, eh? No. Three. There's there's a lot of chicken. Four. There's probably more. No, I can save those for you. You're gonna have one. Um, I don't know actually. I'm I don't know if I'll I'm really that one. hungry right now. Okay. Nine and then get a bunch of rice. Yeah. Put the sauce in that. Okay. Nine. Okay, so um, okay, that's what we're doing then. Okay. We're having Julio, some food with our staff, Uncle Rick Steves. Like a well -craved meat eaters Uncle Rick. Weight and price is agreed there he is. Weight and price are agreed upon on the table. Then it's leave it to clean. What? The they know how to do it at Multiple Chiano. How's your food? Mm. How's your food? Mm. Okay, here we go. And in Tuscany, the correct way to enjoy a steak is rare. Oh, in Tuscany. How do I want to end this? I'm having a shake for dinner at 9.30. So I'm probably not going to sleep that well tonight. 
What? What's a sacrifice that can make for hunger, right? Um, today was a mildly, very, very mildly productive day. And now we're gonna watch something and I'm gonna go to bed. So, yep. I don't know what Mike's gonna put on. He's picking something right now. We didn't really get the best news about the car, but we're praying that uh, they call us back on Monday and give us some good news because this is just not fun. It's not fun. When you have something wrong with your car and it's an expensive fix, it just adds so much unnecessary stress to your life. So we'll see what happens tomorrow. We're gonna enjoy the day, enjoy the car rental. Maybe go down to the city. Maybe take the dog to the dog park. Um, we'll see, and you'll see. Okay, bye.